Well, we know over the past few weeks, we have seen some amazing examples of humans in uniform coming to the rescue of others. And tonight we go behind the scenes of a dramatic wildlife rescue story that played out at Radnor Lake. It involves some quick thinking volunteers, mother nature and a fair share of good luck. Demetria Kalademos is here to tell us more. Tonight I come bearing good news. Oh, for I appreciate change. it. Thank you. For the better part of a year, the Rangers and friends of Radnor Lake have been crossing their fingers, waiting and hoping that their quick action last spring would pay off the way they had planned. Well, you're about to see why the Radnor community is celebrating one of the happiest signs of spring. If you're a painter or picture taker, it's all about the peace and quiet of Radnor Lake. The sparkles have moved way over there, but I'm just gonna leave them where they were. But very few people saw what played out here last spring. A few days of high drama that could have altered the lake forever. They, the location they chose is right in the north wind. The, the furthest points from human activity. Bald eagles had been eyeing Radnor Lake since the early 2000s. We started seeing them carry sticks and things. We began getting excited. When we saw them start carrying grasses, we knew it was for real. January of last year, of 2022, we registered our first nest. They're about three by six the first year, and they add to them every year if they're successful, and they've had nests way over a ton. They'll come back and re-nest in the same location if they're left alone um, and no other factors happen environmentally. May 17th, uh, we had uh, two eaglets in the nest. Parents were raising them. Had some strong straight line winds come in. The nest collapsed in the middle of the night. The adult birds were freaking out, you know, naturally so. They're traumatized. They're like we are. I found one of the eaglets had been eaten. There was a survivor, essentially a young teenager, who couldn't fly and didn't dare move. There were two options. Simply take the adolescent eagle away. It was healthy and could live but the parents might never come back to Radnor, never nest again. Simply received a, a text from Ranger Steve Ward uh, one afternoon saying, uh, we, need, we need some help. They're susceptible to predators in the dark, primarily. We had to have it back in the tree before sunset. We all showed up and developed a plan to uh, build this temporary eagle's nest. This lone eaglet re-nested with the parents re-engage it and feed it and take care of it for about you know another couple of weeks. So it's a low probability on re-nesting in general. Everybody told us it's probably less than 20%. We used some uh, fine straw, moss, sticks. We had to watch for watch for eagles and this group was really amazing because everybody worked some friends some strangers just worked in unison it's the coolest project i've ever worked on you know in an entire career the rangers monitored the eagle for four days straight all day and we also monitored it at night with cameras and other things it seemed like at the time the entire world was trying to eat it we had everything from coyotes to raccoons to other birds of prey. Day four, the, the dad lured it off the nest platform with a bluegill it caught in the lake. And then probably the most, one of the most satisfying things is to see that thing take off flying on its own. Last year's heroics have paid off in a big way. The eagles have nested again in a tree adjacent to the platform. I feel like a proud papa. And people are lining up to watch for good reason. 
you know, you want to catch them in the nest, you want to catch them feeding, you want to catch them doing anything. Their, their antics never disappoint. They're our national symbol for a reason. And if you haven't been, you've got to go out there, you guys. Wow. Oh, yeah. They've got a spotting scope set up, and you get the best view in the house. You know, all the folks you talk with who help, they're so passionate. They you can are. Tell. I'm yes. so happy for them. You and know. what a treasure we have in Radnor, you know? Yeah. We've got to go. Yeah. We really do. We have to check it out. Please do. We needed the story. Thanks, Dimitri. Appreciate it.